Hello students, this video covers important questions related to the course database management systems, I mean DBMS for R16 as well as R18 regulation under JN2H for computer science engineering as well as information technology. The course is too lengthy in its structure and I am going to let you know how many questions will be covered from which unit, please do concentrate. The first and foremost gunshot question I can give you is define DBMS as well as the levels of abstraction in a DBMS as well as the users is one of the very important question and if it is A, the B may be the applications of DBMS and the administrators too. The file processing system versus DBMS, the differences as well as the data model types and the data model entity relationship model along with diagram is also one of the gunshot question. Later ER model and the draw ER diagram for a banking enterprise system from this part you will be getting the part of 1A as well as 1B DS students. From first unit you can get only one and a half question this time and do not expect two questions and the entity set versus relationship set the differences as and the symbols of ER diagram, ER diagram related to ER diagram you are going to get one question for sure that is a gunshot question and the weak as well as strong entity set ER diagram and the ER model constraints uh, key as well as participation constraints and the conceptual design uh, with the ER model either the ER model or the diagram is very important and the structure and data independence of DPMS. And if you are going to get a second question you will be getting 2A as well as 2B but we can expect only one and a half question dear students as per the previous year question papers which have gone through it certain concepts will be certain units you are going to get only one and a half question instead of two questions even as per the COVID pattern first, second and third need to be covered six but we are going to get only four questions for this time there is expectation as per the earlier question papers and explain about the view and the implementation techniques and the relations versus integrity constraint differences and sometimes this may be asked in the second unit itself second question itself whereas this part is under third and the logical database design and this may be the 3a as well as 3b dear students and the relationship calculus versus tuple relationship calculus is one of the very very important and gunshot question this will be for sure this time in the question paper either this or this or both relationships properties of relation algebra outer join operations in relational algebra and the query relation data as well as a referential integrity constraint versus entity integrity constraints these may be the 4a as well as 4b dear students and do not expect the order of questions in 1 2 3 that may be jumbled also sometimes second unit questions are coming in fifth and sixth question also sometimes later next jump into the unit 3 this is very big in its structure you may be getting one and a half questions two questions from this for sure the complex integrity constraints in sql triggers and active database related to sql you are going to get one question for sure that is in a gunshot question and the collection of relations in bc and f which is also one of the very important and the functional dependency and its types and properties and state one normal form two three normal forms along with its examples and the decomposition lossless join and the problems related to it if it is asked and the physical versus logical data independence and this is all about 5a as well as 5b and sometimes they are asking direct 15 marks also in the course dbms and dml functions in sql operators in sql is also one of the very important and gunshot questions and steps to be followed to convert a relation in three normal form to bznf normalization and the differences between four normal form versus five normal form and you can ask you to illustrate both and define trigger low level as well as statement level trigger may be also one of the question 6a as well as 6b do concentrate on all the part which i am focusing here because these all are being taken from the previous year question paper as well as analyzing the jn2h uh, syllabus copy dear students and from the fourth unit also you are going to get two questions or one and a half question for this time and the transaction recovery technique is one of the very important and gunshot question long base recovery i mean related to transaction recovery you are going to get one question for sure related to the concept state or properties or shadow paging paging recovery is also one of the gunshot question and serializability and testing and the multi granularity and this may be the 7a as well as 7b or sometimes this may be 6b also may be covering from this part
later a timestamp based concurrency control techniques as well as recovery concurrent transaction and log based protocol may be i mean the deadlock but timestamp based is very important and recovery concurrent transaction is repeatedly asked and the difference of this and validation protocols and the recoverability but whereas the 7 may be from me this part 7 may 7 b will be from this part and i've taken into consideration even the unit 5 also that is also very important and the hashtag techniques will be asked hashing techniques external technique is asked several times and bleep plus threes is also asked and the deletion and insertion operations in a linear hashing along with its examples index data structures and the indexing and its types may be ata question and isam pros and cons and explain the terms as well as the file organization methods its comparison and methods is one of the very important in gunshot question after b plus threes hash base versus tree base indexing and primary versus secondary indexing dear students as i told dear students the course dbms is too lengthy in its structure and do not expect direct questions from the unit one and two like two two questions maybe getting one and a half one and a half question from unit one and two and the remaining will be covered from three as well as four and from eighth unit we can expect only one question for this time these all are the important questions please do subscribe to my channel and share with your friends also comment if you are looking for any other course good luck and god bless you all for this exam